Hi everyone, I'm JD, welcome back to my channel. So I've got my traveller's notebook here, my Chic Sparrow TN. It is deluxe um, in the colour Hera in the Odyssey, Odyssey style, um, B6 slim size. <laughs> I think I covered all those details um, in case you wanted to know. Um, so this is one that is always in my bag, so if I ever need to jot anything down I have a insert for that, so just random things. Um, the last page is for my more journaling style. If I'm just out and feel like journaling, <laughs> it's just pretty random. But this middle one is the one that I'm most <laughs> interested in. It's my proper TN style insert um, with the junk journal um, style as well. So it's my first go at actually using it as a TN. So I went down to Melbourne, I was there for three weeks and collected things in my travels each day and I just put them away and then uh, came back to this journal and spread everything out all over the table and then put everything in. So I didn't do any writing at first, it was just whatever I have I stuck it in to decorate the page and then I went in later to write in it. I haven't actually written much yet. Hopefully, yeah, I'll get onto that. But otherwise, it's kind of fun just by itself having the pages kind of collaged and decorated. You don't need the writing as much because the pictures and the ephemera speak for themselves. They already take me straight back to the memory of what happened that day and why I included it. So it's not a huge deal if I don't go back in and write in it, but my aim is to definitely do that. It's just a lot of days, like three work, three weeks worth of writing. But I'll show you what I've done. So these are two pages I did um, before, before I went to Melbourne just trying to get used to the TN. It didn't lead it to anything. I stopped because I wasn't sure how to use it. But because I had so much stuff pile up, um, I just felt like I needed to put it into my journal and then worry about writing later. And I actually got to use this journal. So I'm so excited. This records Christmas Day. Um, I didn't really do this in chronological order because I just had so much stuff collected. I just kind of put it in and made each spread relevant to one particular day, hopefully, but it's all just over the place. <laughs> so just giving you a look at what I've got so far. And for me, it's all, every little piece that's in here is meaningful. The only reason I kept it is because I had a meaning and it connects me to some sort of memory. So that's why I love it. That's why I love the junk journal. And I guess the TN now. First time working in a TN this way. And this is part of my haul documenting when I went to the resource rescue place. My receipt and some of the things I picked up. Um, here again, just a book that I bought when we went travelling to Healesville for a day trip and Warburton. And that's what I mean. I just love how this instantly reminds me of where I went, what I did, the book that I bought, all that stuff. It's so fun. I really like it. Some receipts just to remind me of what I did and where I went, what I got. <laughs> this is from the napkin from a place. More business cards. Just collecting business cards of all the places I went because that's the thing. If I collect these, I don't need to write down where I went. I've got the business card to remind me. <laughs> Again, more places that I went to eat, cafes and things. Visited my old church on that same day. Went out with a friend afterwards for lunch. We had Vietnamese. Uh, this documents some fun times with my niece and nephews. This is documenting a the wedding journal that I made. Um, if you missed that, I'll link it below. But just the note that the lady wrote to her brother because it was for her brother's wedding, a trip to Spotlight we took, and I got some hole punches. I have to share those actually. <laughs> and over here, yeah, I love this idea of just getting swatches and samples of the color palettes and papers used in the journal. This is ribbon. I want to do that for every journal. Maybe have one journal just where I document what I used in a journal. 
This is my old bag. It kind of died when I was in Melbourne, so I bought a new one. But this lasted me five years, so it actually means quite a lot to me, the story behind this. And I will journal about that. <laughs> this is documenting the beach butterfly journal that I made. And I'm not sure if I'll have the video up first or if this one will come up first, but if I did, I'll link it below. And this just documents, yeah, the um, design, the colour scheme, the papers used. So, I, yeah, I really like that, doing that. And it just makes the page look so pretty too. This documents my point shoes that I got. I was so excited. Oh my gosh. I love this little pocket here, just all the different things I got because I had to get ribbons and toe socks and um, elastics and everything. There's a bit of the elastic. Oh, I'm so excited! <laughs> this one, again, just documenting some different things I got and um, decorating the page so when I write on it, it's already interesting. Some quotes that I liked and met up with a friend at the cinemas. And I love that movie. It's one of my favourite all-time classic movies, Labyrinth. <laughs> documenting those fairy journals that I made and documenting the journals that my niece made because her name's Matilda. And then documenting some classic books that I just love and this idea that a friend had to photocopy the front cover of the books that she reads and then write on the back her notes or things that she learnt from the book and then putting that into a folder. And I like that idea. I might do that. There's a quote I really love. If you truly love nature, you will find beauty everywhere. And this quote, with the new day comes new strength and new thoughts. Love these ones. This represents the wedding journal we made because it almost made it into the journal, not quite. I love this quote. Love asks for nothing and risks everything. Kind of a reminder for me. <laughs> so, a little paper clips here that is so cute and a little patchy. I don't know, I'll put something in there maybe. <laughs> this is from the 11th hour, cutting out my favourite pictures, just decorating the page basically and documenting some of my favourite books. Love Charlotte's Web. Oh, such a cute picture. Can you see that? Wilbur, Charlotte. Oh, so many memories. This story, I cut this out from a colouring in book of an owl because we saw a powerful owl and it had caught a ringtail possum and we're just looking at the tree at night um, through the window and we're like what is in that tree <laughs> we're like is it a bird or is it a possum what is it and then we went out and got the torch and it was just kind of fun everyone out a bit of excitement for the night i really like this page because of the colors so this was my niece, nephew and I, and she had a friend over, we all did our nails together. So that's why I've coloured nails. I'm not really into nail polish anymore. I used to be a big fan when I was a kid, but I kind of prefer the natural look, to be honest. But I do love getting nails done for a special occasion and just for fun, maybe once a year, that kind of thing. So we did all our nails together, and this is just swatches of the colours that everyone chose. My nephew got me to paint his nails in dark blue. We were listening to music at the same time, so I wrote down the songs that we were listening to and singing along to. And it was just a really fun night. It was my last night in Melbourne and a great way to go out. It was this party vibe, party atmosphere with my niece and nephews, nephew. <laughs> and this documents my flight back. And my friend picked me up from the airport and we had sushi. I shouted her lunch um, for that on the way back. This is, oh my gosh, this is amazing. My sister-in-law gave me this old receipt book. Let me show you. I think it was her grandma's. And she gave it to me for my junk journals. What a... Oh my gosh, so special. It's a real vintage. So there's quite a lot of pages I can use in journals. And I just definitely wanted to have one for me to record and always remember this. Oh my gosh, so, so special. And I love this because I, I wrote about this here too. I had a little notebook of my grandpa's that he'd actually written in with um, papers, like it's a ring binder and puts papers in it, so really old papers and he's got his actual writing in there and I gave that to my sister-in-law before I got into junk journaling. If I'd got into junk journaling before I may have kept it, but I like how we now have something of each other's grandparents in here and vintage. <laughs> Just some card thingies that I tucked in here as well that I may take out and use in other journals or keep in here for decoration. 
and then only a few more pages I might use that for writing if I don't have enough space to write just to write here and then I did a calendar it's nothing special nothing flash I was just trying to get something down quick to kind of help me remember what I did each day so that I can go back in here and write the dates that we did it and um, yeah if I don't write it down quickly I'll forget when we did each thing and I've already forgotten some things but that's kind of recording what I did for those three weeks so I really really like how it's happened it took me so long I was a bit of you know perfectionist about this all and that's why I delayed and just didn't know how to use a TN but I'm so glad I finally just went for it and just didn't care about getting things in order making it perfect just didn't care the main priority was just to get the things in the journal because <laughs> there was so much stuff and to make it look pretty as pretty as I could but that wasn't even an aim either that was just to get it in there and to write the memories to record the memories and I'm so glad I did that so now I've broken out of this fear I suppose <laughs> or, or frozen stage I was in and now I can actually use a junk journal um, TN in junk journal style and collect things from the year and I do want to do a daily oh, I would love to do that but in a proper journal probably bigger I do find the size a little restrictive um, I got some Christmas cards obviously you know for Christmas and I couldn't fit them in here because of the size so there are some things where you would need a bigger size so I think yeah I definitely want to do a daily junk journal but I will keep using the TN and keep working out keep experimenting with this style and I don't know how how I set things up I suppose I'm still learning and but the main thing is I'm having fun now and actually doing something <laughs> yay oh and this I completely forgot this is a bracelet when we had that day doing nail polish my niece's friend brought out some beads and she got everyone a piece of elastic and said anyone could use the beads and so I put all of our initials of our first and middle names me my niece my nephew and my niece's friend so just that records the memories there and I love it because now my journal has something more even more interesting on it all those added elements so yeah that is my TN I'm so excited I'm finally doing it ah <laughs> hope you liked my little um, flip through of that and let me know if you would like a flip through of when I've done the writing and finished it I can definitely do that if you're interested um, and I hope it inspired you to junk journal <laughs> and journal and just record memories I think that's so important and just so fun to do so yeah thank you so much for everyone for watching and I will see you guys in the next video <laughs> bye